Hi everyone, Dafresh on the mic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a clipper in Ableton and how to use it. So for this, I use Saturator. I disable the high quality here. Then I can choose analog clip if I want to clip in an analog way with subtle warm distortion or digital clip if I want to sound more clean. And that's my usual setting. Then I group it. Keep only one knob. And let's map two parameters. Drive and output. For drive from 0 to 36 and output from 0 to minus 36. So now when I turn the knob, I increase the drive and automatically I decrease the output at the same time because we want to always keep the same volume when clipping. Okay, now the clipper is ready. I'm going to show you how to use it. So I have this loop. Let's use the clipper on the drum bus. To see what's going on, I use this cool free plugin called Wave Observer. So I can see the waves in direct and how it will be affected by the clipper. Here you can see the waves of the drums and we can see that there is a lot of peaks with big transients. So the idea with clipper is to reduce and control the peaks by adding drive. Here is too much. And now it's better. Let's check without and with the clipper and keep your attention on the perceived volume that you hear and on the peaks in the wave observer that you can see. Without. And with. Without. And with. We can also check the peaks here. Without. And with. Huge difference. We have less peaks, but still the same sound and the same volume. And that makes the clipper an essential tool to achieve a powerful and loud mix. So when I'm mixing, I always use the clipper on my drum bus. I also use it on elements which contains a lot of peaks and transients, like a plug synth, for example. And of course, I use it on my mastering, but in a more subtle way, just to help gain 1 or 2 dB of loudness in the limiter. Et voilà, the job is done. This Ableton project and the Clipper are available to download for my Patreon members. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. Peace.